Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the ancients of day. You are worthy to be praised, to receive glory, honor, and adoration. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. Man, they shake at a la da da da. They get yamako shake at a zebregede. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No one is like you. Eternal rock of ages, the God of all the earth, we worship you, the mighty God. The faithful Father, the God that cannot behold the liquidity, the God of all the earth, we worship you. Reba Godo Shekatatata, Zemaga Yamako Shikato Zebregede, Rako Sekete Yele Dadadada, Yerama Shakato Zebregede Rasha. Thank you, Father. Glory, glory, glory. Glory be to the name of the Lord the almighty god the god of all the earth thank you holy spirit i worship you i give you praise i give you honor the mighty redeemer the god of all the earth god bless everyone hallelujah god bless you caroline you are blessed god bless you like god bless you please as you are coming keep on sharing May the good Lord bless every hand that share in Jesus' name. Amen. God is a faithful father. The God that cannot behold iniquity. No one is like you, my Lord and my God. My King and my Savior. My healer. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Glory, glory be to the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be praised. God bless every one of you. You are blessed and highly favored. Open your mouth and let's thank the Lord. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. God is good. Our Lord is good all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Abba, Father. Abba, Father, who art in heaven. Amen. Hello, be the name. Have a father. Have a father who art in heaven. Amen. Hello, be the name. Hello, be the name. Hello, I be the name. Hello, be your name. Hello, I be the name. Have a father. Have a father who art in heaven. Amen. Hello, I be the name. Hello be thy name. Hello I be thy name. Hello be your name. Hello I be thy name. God bless you, Moses. Please keep on sharing. God bless every one of you. Pray for me and my wife, Asha. Esther, my prayer request, food and shop clothes, medication care, medical care for the, okay, for the orphanage. Hallelujah. May the Lord provide all that you needed for that orphanage in the name of Jesus. How are you, Moses Paul? May the Lord Almighty, he that gave you that assignment, will supply your needs. I cause it to your riches in glory. You will not beg for that offer, lady. The Lord will supply everything needed in the name of Jesus. Please keep on sharing, every one of you. Make sure you share. 
Hallelujah. God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name. Thank you, my Lord and my God. Thank you, Laba Shakatata. Regade Sekayam Bagadosha. Thank you, Father. Glory, 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 glory. Every one of you keep on sharing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy name. Blessed be thy name of the Lord. Mande Kasokoto. Rebragadalama Shakatale Zekeya Baba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory, 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 glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for everything. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for signs and wonders. Thank you for provision. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name. The God of all the earth, the Father of the universe, the God that provides for us, the God that never let the world has us. Where is the God that we serve? My blessed Redeemer, my King and my Savior. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Reba Sika yande de de. Reka doje braga dalama. Masoko tole braga dolomo shata. Thank you, Father. You are worthy, O Lord. 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 Worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, Majesty. You are worthy, O Lord. Worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, Majesty. You are worthy, O Lord. Worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, Majesty. You are worthy, O Lord. Worthy, you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. Pray for restorations of everything the enemy has stolen. I declare total restorations upon you, upon the member of your household in the name of Jesus. May the Lord restore back all that the enemy has stolen. Everything that the enemy has taken from you, I declare total restorations. Your time has come. The Lord is restoring back. Is restoring back your blessing. God is restoring back your glory. Is restoring back your marital joy. Is restoring back your favor in the name of Jesus. No more shame, no more disgrace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What the Lord has said concerning your life shall manifest in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that friction shall not rise up second time. Her friction will not rise up second time. No more limitation, no more shame, no more pain, no more persecutions, no more backwardness in the name of Jesus. May the Lord crush the head of the serpent, every plans of the enemies concerning you and your family is canceled in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall perfect everything that concerns you. The Lord shall perfect everything that concerns your home. The Lord shall perfect everything that concerns your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you, Kingsley. Please keep on sharing. Every one of you, make sure you share. Share so that people can join us, all right? God bless every hand that share. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among thy God, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praising, do his wonders, hallelujah, who is like unto thee, oh Lord, who is like unto thee, O oh, Lord? I mock thy God, 
Who is Lady? God bless you, Grandma, my daughter. How are you? How is my grandson doing? God bless every one of you. May the good Lord answer your prayer speedily without delay, without barrier in the mighty name of Jesus. I want every one of you, wherever you are watching from, please, I want you to share, like, and follow this page. May the Lord locate you as you came here today. You are not going back the same. The Lord Almighty is going to surprise you. Yes, God is going to surprise you. He's going to surprise you in the name of Jesus. You are not going back the same way. You came here. You are going back as someone who has been fulfilled. You are going back as someone the Lord has blessed. You are going back with miracles. You are going back with open doors. You are going back with abundance. You are going back healed. You are going back jubilating. You are going back dancing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to begin to open your mouth. Has the Lord for mercy. The Bible says, for we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God said, I looked down from heaven, not even a single soul that is righteous. Yes, do not cover your sin. He that cover his sin will not prosper. Open your mouth and ask the Lord for mercy. Father, Lord, have mercy. I am a sinner. Father, forgive me. Forgive me of my sin, O oh God. Have mercy. Any way I have sinned against you, in any way my way have not pleased you. Father, Lord, I plead for mercy. Have mercy, Holy Spirit. Forgive us, O oh God, all our iniquity. Forgive our sins. Forgive us, O God, our trespasses. As you forgive those who trespass against us and lead them not into temptations. Father, have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy. The word that come out of our mouth, the way we do things, the way we talk, all forgive the bitterness of our heart. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Do you really love your neighbor as yourself? I want you right now. Hello, darling. We're on the prayer line. Please join us. All right? Join us, we are on the prayer line. Thank you, Father. Have mercy. Have mercy, oh God. In many ways, we have sinned against you. Father, have mercy. Have compassion on us, oh God. Have mercy. Oh, Kaje Kato Zebragada. Have mercy on me, oh God. I am a woman with a clean list, oh God. Have mercy. Have mercy. Jigade de 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 de. He rababagada la bababale mache katolobo. Rekadaya mama 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 kosete. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Makoto, reka zeka ya ba 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 ba. Reke zipa yande robobo. Hele masakata ya raba. Have mercy, Holy Spirit. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive our sin. Father, Lord, let me see. No, have dominion over us, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. God bless you, Daniel. Father, Lord, we pray for mercy. God bless you, John. Magadalabashata. I want you to share any platform you are watching from. I want you to share, 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 and join us in the name of Jesus. Makoto zebragada. Have have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my children. Have mercy upon my father's household. Upon my stepbrothers and sisters. My Lord and my God, my children, my husband. Have mercy upon the body of Christ, the church of God. Father, forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us, O oh God, every wickedness of our heart. Father, Lord, we pray for mercy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Bible said, my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way. God said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Tell the Lord now, say, I have turned away from my wicked way. The wickedness of my father's household. I turn away from the wickedness of my father's household. I turn away from the wickedness of my family. I turn away from their atrocity, for the evil going on upon our nation. Father, we turn away. We return back to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, God said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sin and I will heal the land. The time has come for the healing to begin right now. Begin to please the blood, to cleanse you and heal you, to heal your land. In the name of Jesus, we please the blood. We please the blood. Look, God bless you. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Daniel. 
God bless you. Every one of you begin to please the blood. Please the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, I please the blood. The blood of Jesus upon my body, so as for it. I please the blood. I please the blood over my children, over the member of my household. I please the blood of Jesus. I please the blood, the blood of Jesus. We are the prayer line, darling. Please join us. After prayer, then you can call me back. I'm on Facebook. I please the blood begin to please the blood. The blood of Jesus for righteousness. The blood of Jesus for cleansing. The blood of Jesus for purification. We are purified. We are satisfied by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There is a song the Lord just dropped in my spirit. I will overcome you. I will overcome you. Sickness, I will overcome. Pain, I will overcome you. Persecution, we will overcome you. Poverty, we will overcome you. In the name of Jesus, I will overcome. Begin to declare. We shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome persecutions. We overcome sickness. We overcome affliction. We overcome limitation. We overcome poverty. We overcome the wickedness of the wicked. By the blood of the land we overcome. I overcome stress. I overcome negativities. I overcome lack. I overcome persecutions. I overcome by the blood of the land. I declare that we are overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. We overcome sickness and affliction. We overcome poverty. We overcome delay, disappointment by the power in the blood of Jesus. I declare I am overcome. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mama, we're on the prayer line. Join us. We overcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We overcome poverty. We overcome disappointment. We overcome shame and disgrace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I declare victory. Begin to declare. Say, I receive victory to the power in the blood of Jesus. You declare victory. Declare victory. I shall be victorious over every court case. I shall be victorious over every delay. I shall be victorious over every circumstance. I shall be victorious over over death, declare it now. You are victorious over affliction. We are victorious over limitation. We are victorious over persecutions. We are victorious over affliction. We are victorious over setback. I am victorious in the name of Jesus over miscarriage, over delay and disappointment. I declare that I am victorious. Anything the enemy have planned, I declare victory in the name of Jesus. I rest up the staff of victory. In the name of Jesus, I am victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. Raise up your staff of victory. Raise up your staff of victory. You are victorious over the plans of the enemies. You are victorious over delayed disappointment, over sickness, over pain, over step back. Please join us on the prayer line. Join us now. I want you to call Eva. Let her join. Hallelujah. We are victorious. Magada Shekato. Shekete. Join us on the prayer line. Join us now. Okay. We are victorious in the name of Jesus. I declare victory. I am victorious in the name of Jesus. I declare victory upon everything I do from today in the name of Jesus. Backward never, forward ever. We are moving forward. We are moving forward in the name of Jesus. We are moving. Declare it now. You are moving forward in the name of Jesus. We are moving forward in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Brenda. We are moving forward. I am victorious in the name of Jesus. I overcome whatever is the plus of the enemy. Declare victory, victory, victory. In the name of Jesus, I overcome cancer. I overcome pain. I overcome accident. I overcome disappointment. I overcome delay. In the name of Jesus, I resolve the victory, the staff of victory. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' mighty name. He's known by my, he's known by my, by thy spirit. 
says I long. He's known by my, he's known by my, he's known by power, he's known by power, by the spirit. Hear me if you can hear me let me see your let me see your comment if you can hear me let me see your comment god bless every one of you in jesus mighty name if you can hear me say yes i can hear you i want to see your comment please comment if you can hear me can everyone hear me okay kissly say yes hallelujah thank you my father it's not by power it's not by man by the spirit says the lord of hosts what is that mountain what is that limitation what is that sickness what is that barrier today i command it to become level every mountain standing on your way every mountain of delay i level it in the name of jesus every mountain of shame i level it in the name of jesus every mountain of disappointment i level it in the name of jesus every mountain of affliction i command it to become level the bible is not by power, it's not by man, by the spirit, says the Lord of hosts. I command that sickness to I command that sickness now to dry up in the name of Jesus. I command that limitation to be removed out of your way. I command that pain to disappear in the name of Jesus. It's not by power, it's not by man, but the spirit says the Lord of hosts in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord shall be glorified. His name shall manifest upon our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. The cry of the righteous. When the righteous cry, what happened? When the righteous cry, what happened? How can they say that? When the righteous cry, <laughs> when the righteous cry, what happened? What is the next thing? Rekebogo shakata. When the righteous cry, the Lord heard their cry, and they come down from heaven to deliver them from persecution, to deliver them from shame, to deliver them from affliction. In the name of Jesus, eh? Father Lord Almighty, we are crying to you. We are crying to you, Father. Answer us, Lord. Answer us without delay. Answer us speedily in the name of Jesus. When the righteous cry, what happened? The cry of the righteous. Let me tell you, you are so important. The Lord loves you so much. That is why he cares for you. When the righteous cry, what happened? Stop crying to human beings for help because they can't help you. But when you cry to God, the Lord will send the helper. He will send angels. He by said, we come down to help you. The cry of the righteous. You are the righteous. Who is the righteous? Question mark. The righteous is you, the believer, the children of God. 
those who trust in God, those that put their hope in God, that person is a righteous person. I'm going to, we are going to read for Exodus chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2, I want you to open your Bible. We are reading from verse 23 to 25. Exodus chapter 2, from verse 23 to 25. During that long period, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites grow in slavery and they cry out and they are cry for help. The cause of their slavery went up to God. What was their cry? They cried for help. What is that thing that you need God to do for you? The prayer we pray is it was that God is our helper. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heaven and the earth. Today is the cry of the righteous. What was the cry? Why the righteous have to cry to God because of help? Because only God can, can provide for them. Only God can save them for everything that they are going through. The cry of the righteous. When the righteous cry, what happened? As a righteous person, do you really need to cry? Mm -hmm. You need to cry when you are going through difficulties. When you need help, you need to cry to God. But don't raise your voice in the street. Don't go and cry to your fellow human being because they are going to disappoint you. But when you put your hope in God, when you cry out to God, God Almighty by himself is going to hazard you. He's going to help you. He's going to deliver you. I don't know that area that you need help. May the Lord become available to you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God Almighty, by his infinite mercy, may he come down tonight and help us from every circumstance, from every delay, from every disappointment that we are going through. May the Lord hear our cry in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Psalm 35, he said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. The Lord delivered them from all. The righteous person may have many trouble. That is the book of Psalm 30, 34. Hallelujah, verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them from all. As a righteous person, you may face many problems, but the good thing is that the God that you serve will never abandon you. The Bible said the righteous shall fall how many times? Several times. But the Lord delivered them from all their troubles. Every trouble you are going through, I call for the help of God to be available for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord help you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord come to your aid in the name of Jesus. Yes, the cry of the righteous. The Bible said they cry out to God. They cry for help because of their slavery, because of what they were going through. The Lord did not abandon their cry. The Lord heard their cry. My God, oh, shut up. Tonight, the Lord will answer you. Tonight, the Lord will hear your cry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are still reading from Exodus. Exodus 2. During that long period, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites grow in their, in their slavery. And they cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. Mm, tonight, your cry must go to heaven. Your cry must penetrate into heavens in the name of Jesus. 24. God heard their groan, and he remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is the covenant keeping God. When they cry, the Lord heard their cry. He remembered his covenant. Tonight, the Lord shall remember you. The book of remembrance are open in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to turn off this video where I want to see your comments. Let me tell you, amen is an agreement. Hallelujah. Don't forget to share. Ha uh ha, -huh, yes. Your cry for help went up to God. The Lord remember his covenant. Tonight the Lord shall remember you in the name of Jesus. I don't know that thing you are going through.
I don't know that area you need God so much. You need God like urgently, like now, now, now. The Lord is going to answer you quickly. In the name of Jesus, I declare the emergency bell of heaven. Let it keep on ringing on your behalf. That area you are calling for help. That area you need God. May the Lord show forth for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for overnight miracles. I pray for Easter miracles in your life. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord answer you quickly. May the Lord answer me quickly. In the name of Jesus. Yes, your case is urgent. Your case is an emergency case. You do not need to wait again because we have gone through a lot. You have been on that same corner. But right now, the Lord is going to answer you quickly. There's going to be overnight miracle. By the time you wake up, you will see your miracle on your door. By the time you wake up, your miracle, you will carry your miracle. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord break the contentions of the enemies. I cancel your name from the book of death. Whether your name has been written in the book of sorrow, tonight we cancel them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord Almighty write your name in the book of remembrance, the book of heaven, the book, the book of life. In the name of Jesus, I'm not God. The Lord is going to reward this year. Your name is there. I want you to pray. Say, Father, remember me. Remember me, Lord, do not pass me by. Tonight is my night. Do not pass me by. Ha, 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 ha. The Bible said they cry out to God. They do not cry to man. Stop crying to man. They will only mock you. Anytime they see your phone call, they say she's here again. That beggar, she's here again to beg. I want you to stop crying to human being. But when you cry to God, God will send their power. When it will put it will put your matter into the heart of man. When A refuses, it will go to B. When B refuses, it will go to C. When C refuses, it will go to D. Until God will help you. I pray from tonight that you will not be far away from God. Before you call, the Lord will answer you. Before you cry, the Lord will answer you. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. God bless you, divine. God bless you, Emmanuel. Please keep on sharing. Hallelujah. They cry out to God. They do not cry to human beings. Tonight, our cry must reach heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our cry must reach heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. Exodus chapter 3, the story continues. You see chapter 2, they cry out to God. God heard their cry. What was their cry? Help, Father, help me. Which area do you need the help of God? Help is what you can't do for yourself. That's where God coming. Though that you could not hope for yourself, things you can do for yourself, you don't really need help. That area that you need help, may the Lord become available for you. May the Lord show forth for you. May the Lord show forth for us. In the name of Jesus. And so does Three, verse 7. The Lord said, I've indeed seen the mystery of my people in Egypt. Indeed, see the mystery of my people in Egypt. The Lord has seen what you are going through. God bless you, joy, joy, sorrow. Hallelujah. God has seen the mystery. The Lord has seen what you are going through. Is concerned about it. Yes, God sees everything. Even in the dark, the Lord can see. Judith, God bless you. God will see your mystery tonight. That pain you are going to, the Lord has seen everything. That night that you normally cry, your pillow is, is soaked with tears. Even your husband, your family don't even know what you are going through. The Lord has heard your cry. And is coming down by himself to deliver you. He's coming back, he's coming down by himself to deliver you, to help you. He said, indeed, I've seen the mystery of my people in Egypt. I am concerned about them. Do you see as a righteous person? Anytime you cry out to God, the book is being open, automatic book for you. Your five is being presented to God. God is concerned. 
He's concerned about, he's interested about your case. Why is my daughter crying out to me? The Lord will carry your book like this, your file. Why is my son crying out to me? The Lord said, I've indeed seen the mystery of my people in Egypt. I've heard their cry out because of their slave driver. I am concerned about their suffering. The Lord is concerned about your suffering. The Lord is concerned about your pain. The Lord is concerned about those things you are going through. The way people oppress you. The way you face failure every day. The way you have been humiliated. He's concerned about it. When God is concerned, he's interested about your case. That means everything is settled. Yes. Everything is settled. All you need to do is to start jubilating. Because the king of kings have taken the fire. He's taking control. He's going to fix you up. Yes. Everything's going to be better. You will not cry no more. That sickness is going away. That trouble shall be rolled away. That reproach is gone. No more limitation. The Lord is going to contend with those that contend with you. He's going to destroy your enemies. He's going to rise up for you. And tonight, the Lord is concerned about your case. Hallelujah. I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptian. How to bring them up from that land into a good and precious land. A land that flows with honey and milk. Yes. When God is concerned about you, the Lord descend. He come down to rescue you. That is what is going on tonight. The Lord have come down to rescue you. The Lord have come down to rescue you. May the Lord rescue us. Every problem you are going to, may God Almighty rescue you. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that pit. You are coming out of that shame. We are coming out, out of that. We are coming out of affliction. We are coming out of pit. We are coming out of sorrow. In the name of Jesus. You are coming out. It does not matter how long you have been there. It does not matter how long you have been there. But right now, I declare that you are coming out. The hand of the Lord has been stretched to you. God is pulling you out. You are coming out of that pit. You are coming out of that limitation. You are coming out of sickness. You are coming out of barrier. You are coming out of that sick bed. You are coming out of that wheelchair. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. That affliction, that poverty, that pain, that limitation, that rejection. We are coming out. We are coming out. Declare it upon yourself. Ha, Daniel, please, I want you to like and follow this page. All our new comments. Like and follow this page so that I can show on your comments. That you are one of our followers. God bless you as you do that. Please don't forget to share and return. The cry of the righteous. When the righteous cry. The Lord heard their cry. The Lord is concerned about their case. Yes, there is a case. There is a fire on your name. Be present to heaven. Be present angels. Be presented to God. And God will carry your fire. He call you by name. Why is my son and my daughter calling upon me? He's concerned. He want to know what is that thing? Why are you crying out? You mothers, you fathers here. When your children are crying out to you, don't you check the reason why they are crying? Don't you want to know the reason why your sons or your daughter is calling, Mommy, Daddy, help me. That is our cry tonight. Father, help me. Mommy, Daddy, help me. What is your cry? You are crying out to God, your Father. Our Father who art in heaven. The King of kings and the Lord of law, the one that has the power to change situation in a second. Help me, Lord. Deliver me from poverty. Deliver me from shame. Deliver me from affliction. Oh, Lord, arise. The Lord will answer you. Stop crying out to human beings. They will only mock you. They cannot help you. 
but God can help you. God can deliver you. All the trouble you are going through, tonight may God answer you. May God answer us. I want you to open your mouth. Begin to cry out to God. Say, Father, here I am. Do not pass me by. Here I am, Lord. Do not pass me by. Here I am. Holy Ghost, do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Hear my cry. I present all my brothers, my siblings before you, Lord. My Lord and my God, I am offer. I have no father, no mother. I cry to you, O Lord. I present my sister, my brother before you. I present my children, my husband, my entire family, Lord. Father, hear our cry, O Lord. The father of the fatherless. So then make it a week I lost my dad. Who had right need to cry to God Almighty? God said, I am a father to the fatherless. I have no father, I have no mother. You are everything that I have. Yes, cry out to God. Are you a widow? Cry out to God. God said, I am the husband of the widow. Are you poor? Cry out to God. The God of the poor. Yes, the God of the innocents. When you are facing persecution, they accuse you falsely. Cry out to God. When you are facing shame, limitation, and backwardness, cry out to God. Let Him help you. No man can help you. When you face rejection, that thing you are qualified for, they keep on giving you negative. Cry out to God. Let Him show up for you. Tonight, the Lord will show up for you. The Lord will show up in Questora for you. The Lord will show up in home office for you. The Lord will show up in that embassy for you. In the name of Jesus. That womb that they said he cannot carry a child. The Lord will show up for you. You will carry your baby. Yes, you are going to give birth again. You are going to move forward again. You are going to be who God wants you to be. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, Frank. You and uh, Danny, please, I want you to like and follow our page. Press the notification bell. Anytime we are live, we will notify you. Cry out to God. Open your mouth. I don't know what you need. All our newcomer, please, God bless every one of you. I'm seeing the new faces. Please, I want you to share, like, and follow this page. May the Lord bless you. Do it now so that we can sit on your comment. Anytime we are live, you'll be notified. Father, help me. Open your mouth, Father. I'm going to ask God to, to answer you quickly. That thing you are trusting God, tonight is that night. You will not go back the same way you came. You are going back eh, as someone the Lord has answered. You are going back someone that is fulfilled. You are going back with new doors open. You are going back with a key of blessing. You are going back blessed. You are going back healed. You are going back stronger. You are going back home with peace. You are going back with the light of the Lord. He said, let your light shine before me, that they may glorify your Father in heaven. Your time has come. Your time of remembrance has come. Your time to be celebrated is now. Your time to become who God wants you to be is now in the name of Jesus. Your time for fulfillment has come. Your time to make it is now in the name of Jesus. Father, answer them quickly. May the Lord answer you quickly without delay. Father, answer your children. As many that is calling upon you, answer them in the name of Jesus. Open door for them. Those, Father, those are in prison, I call them out. God bless you, Augustina. God bless you, Rose. I call them out of prison. I call them out. They will not remain in prison. Oh, my God. I break the contentions of the enemy. I break every gate of prison. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of cage. The cage of sickness. The cage of delay. The cage of disappointment. You are coming out. The Lord said, I have come down to rescue them. Father, come down. Come down and rescue us. Rescue us from sickness. Rescue us from delay. Rescue us from disappointment. Rescue us from shame. Rescue us from the power that is oppressing us. 
Joshua chapter 1. Verse 2. The Lord told Joshua. No, verse 3. He said, wherever you stand the sword of your feet shall be given to you as possession. Verse 5 says, no man will be able to stand against you. All the days of your life, who is that person standing against you? You are a child of God. Tonight the Lord will destroy every evil man and women standing against you. Every power that wants to oppress you. I command that to begin to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. I relate the sword of judgment of the Lord. Let it come upon the wicked in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, God will fight your battle. No more backwardness. No more shame. No more limitation. No more failure. No more tears in the name of Jesus. May the Lord arise for you. May the Lord arise for you. May the Lord destroy the powers of weakening. Every power of witchcraft. May the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus. Tonight, Father Lord, lose your children. Anyone under captivities. He may be the member of your family. He may be the body of Christ, the children of God. Father, come and release them. Come and release them. Anyone on that captivities, anyone on that demonic captivities, anyone the devil has chained down, looking for one way or the other to kill them, to use them for Christmas and New Year celebration. Don't let I lose you in the name of Jesus. Declare it loud and clear. Say, I shall not die, but leave. I shall not die. Declare it now. Declare I shall not die. But live and testify the goodness of the Lord. I shall not die. Appointment with death is cancelled. My children will not die. I will not bury my daughters. I will not bury my son. I declare life in abundantly. Declare it. There is power in your tongue. Declare it. I will not bury my children. Power of death. I send you out of my family. I send you out of their family. You power of the grave. The blood is against you. I shut the door. I get the power of the grave. The power of death. My children are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Our children are redeemed. Our brothers are redeemed. Our sons are redeemed. Our home are redeemed. The body of Christ, the faithful ministry, the church of God, they are redeemed. All the men and women of God, they are redeemed. The Bible said, the blood shall be a sign in the house where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive play will touch you. Please, the blood, let me tell you, the blood of Jesus is a powerful weapon. It's the only weapon that devil is afraid when it comes to the power of the power of death. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. He said, The blood shall be a sign in the house where you are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over no destructive plague. What is destructive plague? The power of death, power of destruction, power of wickedness. Today, you are covered with the blood. Please, the blood upon your children. Please, the blood upon your brothers. Please, the blood upon your neighborhood, upon your family. They are covered with the blood. I plead the blood upon my daughters, upon my sons, upon my daughter, upon my sisters, my stepbrothers and sisters, upon my stepmother. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. Over my husband and his family. I please the blood of Jesus upon anyone connected to us. Every member of this ministry, all our viewers, my Lord and my God, I please the blood of Jesus. You are covered. I please the blood upon your children, upon the member of your household. Your husbands are covered with the blood of Jesus. You shall not be used for Christmas celebration. Do you know between now and December ending? Many people are going to die mysteriously. You will not be among them. No member of your household will be among them. We take authority against the spirit of death. The one that plant death will be the one to carry it by themselves. They plant evil. They will be the one to carry the evil by themselves. It will not land in the church of God. It will not land in the house of God. It will not land upon the children of God. The evil dwell will be the one that will use their own head to carry their evil. Arrows of death will return back to sender. 
Begin to return it. You arrows of death firing against my sister. You arrows of death firing against my brother. You arrows of death fire against the church of God. I say return back to sender. Return back to sender. You arrows of death. Back to sender. You arrows of wickedness. Return back to sender. In the name of Jesus. You arrows of wickedness. Power that destroy in the month of December. Power that destroy in the month of November. You shall not land in my home. I return you back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Power of destruction. Are far away from your home. Are far away from your family. I cancel bad news in the name of Jesus. No more will your people die in your family. I take authority again from my child death. In the name of Jesus. We cut off all the evil that surrounds us. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. God said, now. The cry of the Israelites have reached me. I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. Every area you are going through oppression, the Lord has seen it. The Lord has seen your pain. He sees all that you are going through. And this concern, he has come down by himself. The Lord has come down. Oh, Exodus chapter 3 verse 8. So I have come down to rescue them in the hand of the Egyptian. Tell the Lord, say, Father, rescue me. Rescue me. That area you need rescue. Father, rescue us. Let heavens rescue us. Let angels come down and rescue us. The Lord will rescue you from poverty. The Lord will rescue us from poverty. The Lord will rescue us from delay. The Lord will rescue us from disappointment. The Lord will rescue us, oh God, from affliction, from disappointment, from pain. Father, rescue us in the name of Jesus. Rescue us. Rescue me. Begin to pray, say, Father, rescue me. Rescue me in the name of Jesus. Rescue us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. The book of Psalm, Psalm 34, verse 6. Psalm 34, verse 6. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him from all his trouble. This poor man. The Bible did not even say that he's a righteous person. He did not even say that he's a Christian. He said, this poor man, what is the trouble do you think a poor person will have? Poverty. Maybe cannot even afford two square meal a day. Maybe that poor man cannot even pay his school, the children's school fees. Maybe that poor man is even homeless. The Bible said, this poor man, <laughs> call, and the Lord heard him. He saved him from all his trouble. Poverty. Pray, open your mouth. Deliver me from poverty. Deliver me from poverty. I cry out to you. Father, Lord, the spirit of poverty roaming around the church. Father, deliver us from poverty. Deliver us, oh God. Every poverty that you are going through, my Lord and my God, deliver the church from poverty in the name of Jesus. Every poverty, the yoke of poverty, is broken in the name of Jesus. The yoke of lack is broken in the name of Jesus. The yoke of limitation is broken in the name of Jesus. May God rescue us from poverty. May the Lord rescue you from poverty. Anything represent poverty. Father, rescue us. Tell the Lord to burn to ashes. Every garment of poverty in your life, tear it off. The garment of poverty, I tear you off. You garment of poverty, I command you to burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. No more poverty. No more lack. The Bible said, this poor man called upon God. The Lord heard him and delivered him from all the trouble. Every trouble you are going through, may the Lord show forth for you. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord rescue you. In the name of Jesus, Father, rescue all the poor people out there. Oh, Father, rescue them. The poor, the needy, Father, rescue them. Deliver them from poverty. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord deliver you from poverty. Poverty in your way. Poverty in your marriage. Poverty in your ministry. The Lord will deliver you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
verse 17. Psalm 34, verse 17. The righteous cried out. The righteous cried out. <laughs> and the Lord heard them. He delivered them from all their trouble. You are crying out. All your trouble, present it now. You are your own if you don't say it. Present all that you are going through. The Bible said the righteous cry out. The Lord heard them. He delivered them from all their trouble. Father Lord, begin to deliver. Open your mouth. That trouble you are going through, that sickness in your body, present it before God. That pain, that rejection, that negativity. Father Lord, as your children are crying out. Father, I said them and delivered them from all their troubles. All the trouble you are going through. Father, Lord, deliver them. Oh, begin to tell God what you want. Father, deliver them from their trouble. Deliver them, Father. Every trouble they are facing. The church of God. You said the righteous cry out. The Lord had them and delivered them. Father, deliver us, O oh God, from every trouble. Every man in that trouble. Father, deliver us, O oh God. The cry of the righteous. Father, has us, Lord. Has us speedily. As many that is crying upon you. My father, the widows are crying out to you. The fatherless are crying out to you. Father, the poor are crying out to you. The child, the body of Christ. Father, deliver your children wherever they are all over the world. Deliver them from all the afflictions, all the troubles. Every member of your household, may the Lord deliver them. May the Lord release your husband from that prison in the name of Jesus. I break every cage of prison in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn the case to favor him. I release in the name of Jesus. I release angels, angels in charge of prison to bring out your family, to bring out your brother, your sister, your husband from prison in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, Sakata. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The righteous cry out. The Lord do not only hear. He come down and rescue them. God bless you, Sister Elizabeth. He come down and rescue them from all their trouble. He come down and deliver them from all, all their trouble. All that you are going through. Tonight, the Lord shall answer you. The Lord will answer you quickly. Speedily in the name of Jesus. Without delay, the Lord shall answer you quickly in the name of Jesus. The Lord heard their cry. He delivered them from all their troubles. Deliverance is here. The God that can deliver this year. May God deliver you, myself. May God deliver you, Argentina, Augustina. May the Lord deliver you, Frank. The Lord will deliver you. May the Lord deliver the Elizabeth in the name of Jesus. All the men and women, anyone that can hear the sound of my voice, may God deliver you quickly, speedily, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The book of Psalm 34. Verse 19, the righteous person may have many trouble, but the Lord deliver him from all. The righteous person may have many trouble. God did not say as a righteous person, as a child of God, you are not going to face trouble. The good thing that God will always come to your rescue. Father, come to their rescue. Come to their rescue. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The Lord delivered them. You are coming out victorious. You are coming out stronger. You are coming out blessed. You are coming out fulfilled. You are coming out with double portion of blessing. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord answer you quickly. Quickly, open your mouth. Quickly, in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. Declare it. I am coming out. I am coming out from all my troubles. I am coming out victorious. I am coming out stronger. I am coming out with testimony. Open your mouth. The Lord is bringing you out. He's bringing you out as a strong person. He's bringing you out. Blessing you. He's bringing you out. Sattering you. He's bringing you out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. I am coming out. Out. I am coming up so successfully. 
I am coming out stronger. I am coming out blessed. I am coming out with double blessings of God. I am coming out settled. I am coming out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. You are coming out with testimony before the end of this year. You will testify. I am next to testify. Declare it. I am next to testify. I am coming out with double blessing. I am coming out healed. I am coming out delivered. I am coming out dancing. I am coming out jubilating. I am coming out fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. Let the wave of the blessings of God come upon you. Father, Lord, send your wave of blessing. Let you overshadow them. The wave of the blessings of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. <sighs> the wave of the blessings of the Lord. Let it come upon you now. Father Lord, the wave of the blessings of God. Father Lord, everyone that can hear the sound of my voice, receive the wave of the blessings of God. <sighs> <sighs> In the name of Jesus, receive it and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Oh, Makoto se katayaraba. Thank you, Father. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. We are going to round up now. Open your mouth, begin to thank the Lord. Yes, the yoke of barrenness is broken. Delay is destroyed. No more shame, no more disgrace, no more pain, no more agony. You are coming out victorious. You shall testify in the name of Jesus. The book of remembrance is open for you. You will testify before the end of the year. It is your turn to be settled. It's your turn. Yes. You think it's not possible, but God said I should tell you it is possible. Is there anything too hard for the Lord to do? You will not carry over. You will carry your evidence. You are going to carry your evidence in your hand. You are going to carry your evidence in your hand. Receive in the name of Jesus. Father, answer them. Answer them. Every hand lift up now. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand wherever you are. As I pray for you. Father Lord, as your hand are lifted up. Father Lord, today I lift up this hand before you. Hold your hands. Pull them out from every agony, every pain, every delay, every suffering, every poverty, every shame, every negativity. In the name of Jesus. As you are pulling them out, Father Lord, sustain them. Oh, Father Lord, settle them. Financially, oh Father, maritally settle them in job work, settle them, Lord. Academically, settle them. Every area that they need help, Father, help become available. Begin to settle them in the name of Jesus. Begin to receive settlement. May the Lord settle your case. May the Lord settle your children. May the Lord settle you that you are going through. I pray for settlement in the name of Jesus. The book of remembrance is open for you. Yes, victory is yours. You are coming back victorious. You are coming back blessed. You are coming back with testimony. Oh, overnight miracle. Receive in the name of Jesus. <sighs> you will wake up and carry your testimony. You are going to testify. Few days to the end of this month, you are going to testify. Before the end of this year, you are going to testify. Receive in the name of Jesus. <sighs> seven days miracle. Someone seven days from now, you will testify. So there are some people 24 hours miracle. Receive in the name of Jesus. <sighs> the wave of the blessings of God is coming upon you. I pray for everyone. If you know you are sick, put hand in that place. Where you are feeling pain, put your hand. Father Lord, heal your children. Heal them. Everyone sick here, receive your healing. Holy Ghost, touch them now. The Bible said by his cry, we are healed. Yes, the book of Luke chapter 6. It's a power we are coming out of Jesus to heal the sick. As you believe, let that power touch you now. The power to heal the sick. The miraculous power of God. The power of the Holy Spirit. <sighs> Receive in the name of Jesus. Miracle walking angels begin to touch them. Touch them. 
angelic daughters, angels of miracles. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, your heavens are open. You are free. That pain is gone. Check that place where you are feeling pain. The pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May God open the door for you. Financial breakthrough. Receive in the name of Jesus. Favor in our sight. May we rush to favor you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those are hopeful for you. You are free. May God bless you with the foot of the womb. As many that believe in God for foot of the womb. Receive in the name of Jesus. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. If you know you were having pain, check yourself. I want to see your comment now. You know you were having pain. As I told you to put your hand in that place, you are feeling pain. The pain is gone. Check yourself. The testimony belongs to God. Yes. The Lord has healed you. Check yourself. The testimony belongs to God. The miracle is yours. God said that we never share my glory with anyone. There is no distance. You are healed. That pain is gone. No more shame. No more backwardness. No more failure. Receive now. In the name of Jesus. Rose Mary, how are you? I want you to like this page. Have you liked and followed this page? Frank, Rose Mary, all our newcomer. Let us see the sign that you are one of our followers. Every day we are alive. Anytime we are alive, you'll be notified. Hallelujah. If you know the Lord just healed you, I want to see your comments. I want to see your comments. Yes. You know you were sick. You say yes. Who is a uh, Frank? Yes. What do that mean? Yes. Of is it here yeah, that you are healed or what? I want to see your comment in full, please. Every one of you, you know you have received from God. I want to see your comment. Put it on the comment section. Hallelujah. The miracle belongs to God. The miracle belongs to you. The testimony belongs to God. Yes, the miracle is yours. The testimony, you must testify. When God does something for you, you need to testify. You are free. Chains are broken. Chains are broken. You may not see it. But what I'm seeing, I see chain is broken. I see angels removing chain for people's legs. Yes, doors are open. I see deliverance is being taking place. And I see healing. A lot of people, up to five people are healed. That sickness, go and check yourself. You are free. You are free and you are healed. You are free and acquitted. Who the Lord has set free is free indeed. Thank you. Every one of you begin to say, thank you, Jesus. I want to see your comment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to round up. Begin to thank you. Yes, mommy, that pain is gone. Hallelujah. Marcel, he said the pain is gone. So God be that glory. Do you want to uh, call? Let me put my number there. All right, please. I will want you to call. I just put in my number. All right, if you can call, just share with us what happened. Hallelujah. Let me begin to thank the Lord. The pain is gone. No more pain, no more sickness. You are free. The Bible says who the Lord has set free is free indeed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you. Miracle working God. Thank you, Father. Your healing shall be permanent. Marcel, I want you to call. I'm on WhatsApp on this number. Call, all right? Just call me. I want you to just talk about you, what happened to you, where the prayer was going on. This is an altar of fire. Everyone that come here, they are not going back the same. Many of you that is here today, believe it and it is done. All that you present today before this altar, God has answered all the prayers. Yes, I can see fire be open. I see angels open fire, a new fire. Your fire, the Lord has answered your prayers. Your fire will be open by heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your miracle become permanent. In the name of Jesus, this is your month, this is your year. Yes, Makoto Shebagada. Thank you, Father. Thank you. No more limitation. There's someone here, you face a lot of limitation. 
Yes, a lot of limitation. The Lord said, I should tell you, no more limitation. No more limitation. This time, the Lord is going to carry you far and speed. No more limitation. In the name of Jesus, limitation is broken. The yoke of limitation is broken. The yoke of delay is broken. The yoke of disappointment is broken. It is a brand new day in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening a new door. You are going to move from glory to glory, from strength to strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. No more limits. No more pain. No more shame. I'm still waiting for you to call. I am still waiting for you to call. Chase are broken. Chase are broken. The testimony belongs to God. Don't steal it, darling. You need to testify. Shame the devil. I don't. If you don't want me to show your face, I don't need to show your face. But just call. People just want to hear your voice, all right? Because you, I believe you are a new person. I've not seen your name before. Just call and tell us. I don't need to show your face on camera, all right? Just call. Just talk what happened, what the Lord has done for you. Shame the devil and just give the testimony to God. God said, I will never share my glory. When God did something for you, you need to testify. But if you refuse to testify, sometimes you may lose your miracle. That's the reason you need to testify. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. It shall be permanent. What the Lord have done for me, it shall be permanent. Open your mouth and sing that song. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. God bless you, lovely God. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. My blessing is permanent. My miracle is permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. The door the Lord have opened for me, it shall be permanent. God have opened a lot of doors tonight. What God have done for you shall be permanent. The healing the Lord have healed you, it shall be permanent. You are free from sickness, you are free from persecution. You are free from delay, you are free from poverty, you are free from backwardness. No more limitation, no more shame in Jesus' name. Is there anyone who want me to pray for them before we round up? All right? As I announced before, I think I did that yesterday. I lost my dad. Today make it one week that I lost my lovely dad. Hallelujah. Please, I want you people to be praying for me, for God to strengthen me, strengthen my siblings, my brothers, my sisters, my stepmother, for God to strengthen us, to give us strength to move forward. I need your prayer. This time, me, I'm going to give you prayer requests. I need you to pray for me for strength. For God to comfort us is not easy. Okay? Today, you can see, I am almost give up not to even come live today. You know, after the, the tears and all that, sometimes I feel like, oh, just rest. But thank God for the spirit of the Lord that was able to give me the strength to come live. Okay? Even when I'm mourning my dad, I still come live to come and lead the prayer. Hallelujah. So I need prayer from every one of you. I need a word of encouragement. And now I need I need help from every one of you. Not be only mama pray for me, mama pray for me. Me, I don't lost my papa now. Me kuna come comfort me now. <laughs> oh, mommy, take her to God is your strength. Amen. Sorry, ma. Uh, is so rest in peace. Yes, so thank you. You see all this word of echo. Every one of you have my number. Send message. Pray for me. I need those prayer. Okay, and she sent me money oh, so that I can able to drink more to, to resist strength so that I can pray. Oh. Anything you can help with, you are welcome. Send an offering to your pastor. Now I am money, I need all the help. As you are praying for me, little thing, nothing is too small, nothing is too big. You can send it. Oh, woman of God, have this so. All right, God bless you. All right, every one of you that supports your prayers, your word of encouragement. My daughter, Granda, God bless you. She told me she's going to send me some Africa, uh, <laughs> is it uh, Africa 
food stuff. May the Lord bless you. Anything you give to support your woman of God, God Almighty will reward you in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, is there anyone that needs prayer requests? Quit do that. Let us pray for you. Then we round up. You will not lose your mother. You will not lose your father. You will not bury your children. You will not bury your young ones in the name of Jesus. Appointment with death is canceled. And my advice to every one of you that still have a father or mother, please care for your family. Love them. Pray for them. Lead them to Christ. If they don't know God, make sure you talk to them. Make sure you preach to them. Let them know that heaven is real. Hell is real. My dad gave his life to Christ this year in the month of March, March 25th. My father gave his life to Christ. Yes, and I'm happy that today I'm proud that I can say my father make it to heaven. And the Lord, the Lord confirm it that he make it to heaven. Yes, make sure you, you your family, make sure you preach to them so that at the last day, everybody will meet up, meet up again with joyful, with jubilation, and so shall it be. Please get your family a smartphone. Make sure you talk to them on video call. You may not be able to see them one-on-one. -on -one. The last time I saw my father, it was about 12 years ago. But because of this video call on WhatsApp, it's like I'm seeing him every day. Okay, please make sure you do that. Pray for them. No matter what they do to you, forgive them. The Bible said, Children, obey your father and mother so that your days will be long. Opposite of disobey your parents is premature death. That means the days of that person will be cut short. The Bible cannot lie. The Bible said, children, obey your father and mother so that your days will be long. When you disobey them, it's opposite. Okay? No matter what your father and mother have done to you, you need to forgive them. Forgive them. Yes, they may eat your money. What you ask them to do, they don't do it. Forgive them. Love them. They are your father. God knows the reason why he kept them in your life. Why God choose that particular man or woman to be a father or a mother to you. Love them, care for them, forgive them. Because what you sow, that is what you will reap. If you refuse to help your father and mother, your children will do the same. When you become old, they will not see. Have you not been seeing it? I've worked in a, in a, in a health care center. I've worked in a, a care home. I've seen some parents. Oh, their children don't even look for them. Why some? Their children come to, you know, shower them love. They are there like every day. Why some of them will cry, oh, I look after my children. My children don't care for me. The Bible says, what a mass soul will reap. If you want to enjoy your children, you know when we are getting older, we begin to, you know, there's that, um, our heart yearn for our children. We want to see our grandchildren, we want them to show us love. That time you begin to behave like a baby. Yes. But if your children are not showing you love, you cannot be able to have the strength to move to a new level. You understand? That's why I see many families, they died uh, quickly. Why? Because there's no enough love. But when there is love, they are ready to live long. Their heart will be strong. Okay? Make sure you take care of your father and mother. God bless you, Brother John. It's a good, uh, good talk, mommy. Yes, please, everybody, make sure you do that. Look after the money is not everything. The little you have, don't say, oh, I don't have much. Yeah, that little you have, give to them. It's okay. They understand. When you see have a lot, they still know. Care for them. Look after them. You may not be able to be in the village with them or the city where they are. The little you can do, you can ask somebody to help them, to help them do the hard choice. Okay, don't abandon. And don't allow anybody to deceive you. That we tell you your father is a witch, oh. your mother is a witch, oh. if you believe that you are on your own. Your children are still coming back to pay you the same thing. They are going to call you witch when the time comes. Don't believe because there are some fake pastors out there, fake prophets, fake native daughters. They will tell you your mother and father, is there. if they were witch, why do they not kill you? Why do they allow you? you think witch don't kill their own children? Don't listen. Sometimes the devil even use the face of their, your parents. They be the one you are dreaming to see. Don't believe. Please. Your parents cannot be a witch and they allowed you to live. No, don't listen to them all. 
is a word of encouragement to every one of you. I pray for you that see her father and mother. May the Lord protect your own. May the Lord keep them and they will live long in the name of Jesus. Your father and mother will live long. You, your children will take care of you. In the name of Jesus, you will reap the fruit of your labor. Nobody will take your, take your children away from. Nobody will take your place. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We will not use our hand to bury our children. I cover our children with the blood of Jesus. I cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Begin to pray. Cover your children, your grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, I cover them. Your father, your mother will live long. Oh, they will live to 120 years. In the name of Jesus, your parents are secure. We protect our children, every one of you, your children. I cover with the blood, I cover my children, all our children with the blood of Jesus. May the Lord protect them in the name of you. Will not be a widow, your husband will not die, your wife will not die in the name of Jesus. Both of you will live long and see your children's children in the name of Jesus. May the Lord settle you in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed, amen. God bless every one of you. So, if you are here and you want to give you want to give to support the work of god and you know what the lord have done for you hallelujah please our way of giving is there you can do that and the lord almighty will reward you in jesus mighty name amen thank you jesus thank you father may god answer you quickly is there anyone who need a prayer request i want you to just quick say it now type it so that i can pray for you then we round up we go Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is there any one of you that need, you want me to pray for you? Quick drop your prayer request now. Drop it. Drop it quickly so that we quick pray for you. Prayer request. Rose, your husband is coming out to before Christmas, okay? Don't worry. He's coming out. The Lord will favor him. And you don't forget to come and testify here. You have to come and testify the lord is going to do it hallelujah thank you father thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so if you want to give all free to support the work of god and you want to say thank you for what god have done for you so there is a way of giving there you give to god not to human being and the same god will reward you Brenda. Pray for my visa to come out. Receive in the name of Jesus. I disperse angels now. Angels, angels, angelic helpers. Right now, let them go into that immigration office. Receive your visa now in the name of Jesus. I present your fire now before God. May the Lord answer you quickly in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for those who are believing God for foot of the womb. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those who are believing God for hope who does. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I pray for those who are believing God for marital settlement. Yes, I said it before. Some of you are going to be married before the end of this year, before the end of December. Receive in the name of Jesus. New jobs, opportunity is released. Protection is released in the name of Jesus. May the Lord protect you, protect your mother, your father, your husband. You will never again bury your loved ones in the name of Jesus. You will not be a widow, you will not be a widower. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord keep you and your children under divine protections of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to thank the Lord for what God has done for us. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you for miracles. We thank you for signs and wonders. We thank you for all that you have done and all you still about to do. What a mighty God. What a faithful God. The God that cannot behold iniquity. Father, I am grateful. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, my deliverer. Thank you, my Lord and my God. My Holy One of Israel, the Almighty God. Thank you. It shall be permanent what the Lord have done for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I cover every business with the blood of Jesus. Those already in business, may the Lord shower rain. Water your business. Your business will begin to boom. In the name of Jesus, I pray for new people who want to start. The thing that the capital that you need, receive it. The business idea, receive it. In the name of Jesus, you will never again involve in a business that will crash. May your business begin to grow from glory to glory. The Bible said, the little mustard seed become the largest. May your business become the largest. You will never again enter the business that you will reject 
you will regret as your uh, past business fail this one will not fail in the name of jesus why because the hand of god is going to help you to invest on that business the hand of god is going to teach you how to do the business the hand of god will direct you the lord will show you the right the right path to throw your net pray if you know you want to start business you don't you are even confused you don't even know the business to start i'm going to give you a prayer point now you see peter what happened to peter peter was a fisherman the thing that happened to peter but peter was poor peter would go and fish he come back always empty but one day jesus entered the boat of peter the life of peter changed less than few minutes that jesus entered his boat Jesus said, throw your net on the right side. Peter got it right. May the Lord teach you the right business to invest. Open, open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, teach me the right business. May I not throw my net on the wrong side. Teach me the right business to throw my net, to invest my money on. Teach me, Father. Open my eyes to see it. Show it to me, Father. May I never again throw my net on the wrong side. May I never again invest, invest, invest money, invest my money on the wrong business. Father, teach me. Help me. Help me to make the right decision. Help me open my eyes. Oh, connect me to the right business. The right business to invest on. So that when I invest on this business, I will come back with testimony. Open your mouth. Those who want to start business and you don't even know the right business to do or you're already in business it look like your business is not for sure tell the lord to show you the right side to throw your net what did the lord told peter he said throw your net on the right side as peter throw his net what happened the life of peter changed peter was able to catch a multitude of feet that he had never seen before in his life the poverty ended Yes, Peter had very so much. Yes, until he begin to signal another boat to help him, and so shall it be. You will never again invest your money, your time on a business that we call out. This time, you you will you will get it right. You will never again get it wrong. People will never again buy from you credit, although witchcraft, demonic forces of darkness that come to bear and they never pay. They will never again know you in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you. I thank you. May the Lord bless everyone. Those who are still working or believing God for a new job, receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And if you know you are here and you are not sure, if righteous take place tonight, you are not even sure where you are going. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. I am a sinner. Father, forgive me. Have mercy on me. I come to you as a sinner. Forgive me. I do not know better, but now that I know, have mercy on me. Give me another chance to make it right with you. Come into my life today and be my Lord and my Savior. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. You died after three days you resurrect. You are alive. Thank you, Jesus. Show me your way. Teach me the path. Help me to walk in righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me. All things are passing away. Everything become new. Let my name be written in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me. I am born again. Thank you. God bless you. Congratulations to you. The Bible says, if one soul is being converted to heaven, there is joy in heaven. One soul be converted. Oh, there is party. Congratulations. Congratulations. Look for a Bible-believing church and join us for life. God bless you. Please get a Bible app or go and buy a Bible. God bless you in Jesus' name. Can we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and buy with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord 
forever, ever. Amen. I thank God for the miracle today. The people that Lord have healed, all the miracle that happened, but the one we don't see that's going to manifest a few minutes from now. Father, Lord, we thank We cannot share your glory with you. May the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. Congratulations to every one of you. Don't forget to share your testimony. I love you, but Jesus loves you the more. God bless you. I see you again by special grace of God tomorrow. Remember, we are still doing our fasting for 21 days. Please continue, and the Lord will bless and reward you in Jesus' name. Bye for